joining me this Friday for 30 Days to Greater Self Love. All this month, I'm going live Monday through Friday here on Facebook and on TikTok. So make sure you follow me. If you happen to come past this video and you like it, make sure you follow me to get notifications and upcoming events. Y'all, come on now. It's Friday. How y'all feeling today? Come on now, it's Friday. How y'all feeling today? How are y'all feeling today? Are you happy? Are you excited? The weekend is here. Listen, y'all, get excited. Get excited because on today's live, we're going to be talking about some tips on self-care and some things you can implement, you know, even today, this weekend or what have you for those who are busy women. And I know that's for all of us because we all have tasks to do. But first, before we dive in, let me introduce myself. My name is Corinthia Williams, also known as the Queen of Transformation. And my mission is to help women transform mind, body, and soul. And I do this by helping them embrace their inner power and live a life of abundance, joy, and fulfillment. I'm also the founder of the Queen's Tribe Community, which is a private Facebook community that all is welcome. And it's going to be myself and other amazing women coming together, giving each other help, queens supporting queens. That's what I like to quote us as, queens supporting queens. We support each other. We love on each other. We encourage one another. We have prayer meditation every Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to be a part of that queen, go ahead, click the link, and you'll see all of my um, products, services, and the Queen's Tribe information there as well. Okay. Lastly, I know I'm full of information, right? But lastly, y'all, but definitely not least, all this month for um, August, I am doing a series called The Gathering. And The Gathering is a place where you come onto my platform. If you're a leader, a minister, a business owner, an author, what have you, and share what you have coming up. It could be an event. It could be a book. You could be a business owner, share your products and your services, and I want to support you by allowing you to be on my platform and just tell us all about what you provide, all right? So if you want to um, do that, it's every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to do that, make sure you contact me to let me know, and we can set up a time, okay? All right, y'all good? All right, let's dive in. So like I said, today we're going to be talking about, I'm just going to, you know, give you some things you could do um, for that busy woman, right? This is for that busy woman, that mom, that 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 business owner, that, that, that person in school, that woman that has so much heaviness on her plate, because I understand full hand how it is to feel like you depleted at the end of the day, feeling like you gave your all, feeling like you just don't have nothing else to get. I get it. I get it. I'm a mom myself. I raised three amazing kids. I'm a grandmother. I'm a wife. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a coach. So I give up myself all the time, y'all. I understand. And so on today, this beautiful Friday, I just want to give you some tips you can use, some self-care tips you can use to um, by making time for yourself. Because when you're on a journey of discovery, a journey of loving yourself, a journey of self-care, a journey of tapping into you. You got to make time for yourself because none of us can pour out of an empty cup. I know you heard that before and it's so true. When your cup is empty, guess what? We don't have nothing else to give to anyone else. So if we're not filled back up, right? If we're not filled back up and working at our top tier, right? Working at top tier, we aren't good for anyone else. So like I said, we want to do this. I want you to take some notes. I want you to listen to this again. But we want to dive in today. And the first thing is schedule me time. Schedule me time. And I know, Queen, that sounds so easy, but we tend to overlook it so often. Me time. And I specifically said schedule because when we just say, oh, I'm going to do this for myself, we get so busy with life, 
with other responsibilities and the end of the day come and you don't feel like doing it. So schedule me time, meaning put you on your schedule, on your to-do list, on your calendar, right? And if this is your uh, your pedicures, manicures, getting your hair done, if it's, you know, if it's just taking a walk, if it's just going out with the girls, if it's just sitting and and watching a movie, whatever this is, make time for you, schedule it. Plan it out. Get excited about it. Don't make it feel as though it's a task. Another task for you to do throughout your day. No, I want you to be strategic about spending time with yourself because it is so needed. Okay? And the next thing, prioritize sleep. Y'all, we are working on E. We need to go to the gas station and fill back up. Because a lot of us are working on empty. We got to prioritize our rest and really rest. Not get in the bed, watching movies, scrolling Instagram, TikTok. No, we need to rest. We need to go to bed at a proper time. Y'all know, moms, you had kids. You know, your kids had to be in bed by a certain time so you can get up fully functioning at, you know, in the morning time, you're ready for school, right? We got to sometimes do that for ourselves. I know for me, this is so important because I'm a night owl, right? I like to get stuff done at night because the house is quiet. Everybody else is resting. And here I am at night getting stuff done. But even for me, I need to get my rest because your sleep is so important. Adequate sleep is essential to your overall well-being. Yet it's often neglected for busy women, right? Make sleep a priority by establishing a consistent sleep schedule. Not one day, two hours, one day, four hours, one day, six hours, one day, no hours. No, we have to be consistent with our sleep patterns so our body can rest, our minds can rest, our organs can rest, right? We have to put our bodies in a state of rest, okay? Number so three, delegate and seek support. Delegate, delegate, delegate. You don't have to do everything. And I know a lot of us say this famous line, if I don't do it, it won't get done. Or if I don't do it, it won't be right, right? Guess what? It's okay. <laughs> it is it is okay. Learn to delegate some things around the house, if you can, at work, in your business, at church. You don't have to be on every board at the church. I could tell y'all stories of when early on in my marriage, my kids was doing little things, little things. And I was at the church, let me think. I was at the church at least four times a week, including Sunday. That's not fair to you, your family. My home was being neglected. I was being neglected. Yeah, the kids were with me, but they were they with me? They were at the church. They were like, they used to call my kids the little three church mice because they were always there, right? But I had to make time and delegate and really look at my schedule. I was neglecting my home. I was neglecting my husband, my kids, because I thought, I thought that by me saying yes to being on this board and being a part of that ministry, I was helping the kingdom of God. Guess what? There's other people in there to help the kingdom, right? It's that we are, we are made up of the body. Is more parts of it, okay? So you don't have to always be present. You don't always have to have your hands on everything. Queen, you don't always have to be in control of everything. You can delegate, delegate it. Get asked for support. Or guess what? I like to say, say no. No is not a bad word. Stop putting so much on your plate that you are full and can't finish the job at your full capacity. So practice mindfulness and meditation. Guys, 
if you're not a part of the Queen's Tribe, we do, um, the Queen's Tribe is a private Facebook community and we do prayer and meditation every Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time um, on our inside of our community because meditation is so important. Have you ever really sat down and, be, and been quiet, right? And listen to your thoughts and clear your mind, calm your spirit, be in the moment. That is the best thing. I, I I mean, I learned, I implemented meditation into my day-to-day life um, during COVID. Um, during that time, we had a big loss. My mother in love, she passed away. We had some loss with business and it was COVID. You know, it was a lot going on. And part of my therapy, because I had to go to a therapist, y'all. Yeah, the queen of transformation went to a therapist to get help. And part of that was meditation, just calming my mind. And it helped so much because you're able to listen. You're able to be in the moment. You're able to understand and get clarity and shut down the noise and the chaos that's all around you. So part of you know, when you're so busy and you keep going and you keep going and you're moving and you're moving, you need time to sit in silence. Not with the TV on, not not with uh not with music playing. Sometimes you might want meditation music or what have you, but you could just sit in silence and control your breathing, slow down your heart rate, and be present. Be still. And it is so calming, so relaxing, and so refreshing. So if you have never meditated, make sure you join us in the Queen's Tribe this Sunday for prayer and meditation, all right? Next, set boundaries and learn to say no. That goes along with what I was saying with delegating and seeking support. Learn to say no. Set your boundaries. Be true with yourself. Be honest and say, I am not able to do that at this time. And it's okay, right? Saying no is okay. They'll find somebody else. It'll get done some kind of way, right? But you got to learn to set those healthy boundaries, y'all. We can't just do and go and do and go and be there for everyone else and not show up for yourself. Not show up for yourself. Y'all, we got to show up for us. We got to be present for us. We got to be at our best for us. You at your best for everybody else. Imagine what that would be for you. Come on. You at your best for your job, your, your, your household, your family, your friends. What if you showed up as your best for yourself? How would you, how would you, uh, represent yourself then? How happy are you would be? how at peace you would be. But we have to learn to set healthy boundaries, y'all. We got to learn to say no. Remember, saying no to others means saying yes to yourself and your well-being. That's what that means, all right? Lastly, nourish your body with healthy foods. Y'all, I am an emotional eater. I confess, I am an emotional eater. When I'm happy, I eat. When I'm sad, I eat. When I'm mad, I eat. When I'm frustrated, I eat. I want to eat. And unfortunately, I want to feed the flesh. So I want to eat all the things that aren't good for me, okay? I want to eat the chips, the candy bars, the, the cake, the ice cream. I want to eat all the bad things. But we have to learn to nourish our bodies. Because what they say, the body is the temple, right? This is our house. And if we continue to feed our house junk, we're going to feel like junk. We're going to feel sluggish. We're going to feel uh, heavy, down, foggy minds. So we got to learn how to nourish our body, drink our water, eat our fruits and vegetables, lean proteins. We got to know how to put healthy things in our in our body. They have a service, this is not sponsored, but they have a service called HelloFresh where they send the ingredients to you and it's healthy meals you can try. Maybe trying that for a month or so, but getting something healthy in your body is so important. It's so important. 
So we got to nourish our bodies, treat our bodies like the temple that it is. Give it good foods, healthy things. Not all the, the sweets and the, the processed food, but give our bodies the food that it needs, the nourishment that it needs, the water that it needs, the vitamins and minerals that it needs. Go to a, um, a nutritionist, somebody that can actually sit down with you and set a meal plan. Queens, it's time to take time for ourselves. It's time to make that time for us. Not just when we, at the end of the day, not just on the weekend, but make time for yourself every day and watch and see the difference it will make. You'll feel more confident. You'll be more happy. You feel more fulfilled. Set the projects for yourself. Get a hobby, go outside. Spend time with friends. It's Friday, y'all. Let's not sit in the house this weekend. Not Let's not just fill our Saturday up with chores. Do something for you. Find some time for you. What we say for number one, make, uh, excuse me, schedule me time. Schedule some me time for you this weekend. Please, please. And enjoy yourself. Don't feel guilty, moms, right? Don't feel guilty. Don't feel like, you know, you can't do this because you got to take care of everything else. Do this for you and watch the difference. Y'all. One thing you can do is download my free self-love quiz. Now, if you don't haven't heard of a self-love journey, if you've been on a self-love journey for a while, this quiz can help you measure where you are on your journey. Maybe you've been on a journey for a while, but you've been lacking and slacking on you, right? So these questions are strategically formatted so you can see what areas you need to work on, right? And believe it or not, we all need some work. We all we all need to sometimes go back to the drawing board, start over and things like that. So it's not to make you feel guilty about how you love yourself, but it's there to help you realize the areas you can improve in, all right? And for the rest of this month, when you download the uh, the quiz, you get 20% off of my ebook, 30 Days to Greater Self-Love. And the ebook is designed to help you each day to find time for you, how to prioritize your self-love journey, how to do things strategically to enhance your journey, and steps and tools you can use each and every day. So go ahead. It's Friday, y'all. Do something for you. Take the quiz, download the 30 Days to Greater Self-Love ebook, and start. Y'all, it's okay if you got to start over. It's okay to... um that's even worse. I'm trying to get out that sign, but either way, it's okay to start over. It's okay to say, you know what? I need a fresh start. I've been doing this for so long. Maybe I need to implement something different. It's totally okay. Every day that God wakes us up, it's a new beginning. So take this new beginning, download your free um, quiz and get your 20% off the ebook. Y'all, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. And Queens, if you're not a part of the Queen's Tribe, go ahead and join the tribe. Also, if you want to join the gathering, the gathering is um, a broadcast that I am doing on Facebook Live where I have queens come on and share whatever they're doing in the community, their services, their products, their events that's coming up. If you want to expand your reach, go ahead, message me so we can connect and start uh, get a date together where you could come on live with me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This Wednesday, if you missed it, go ahead and watch the replay. It was phenomenal. I had Queen Hope Thomas on here and it was awesome. She's writing a book. She's been doing so much in her community, serving the women she worked with and just phenomenal. She was phenomenal. So if you missed that interview, go ahead and check that out as well. All right. So y'all. I'm going to get off of here. Happy Friday. Join me back here at Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. And I'm going to see you at the top because there's no more room at the bottom. And remember, self-love isn't selfish, y'all. It's necessary. So do something for you today. Download the free quiz. 
and take advantage of the discount for the 20 days to greater self-love. Be blessed, y'all. Oh, 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 oh,